Okay. Ooh. See that rock right there? Yep. That's where we think it is around. So you're um, thinking probably? I would say from the end of the dock to the end of the pontoon and like eight feet out is my... All right. I don't know if you guys can see it right now because of the reflection. I got polarized glasses, but there's just a ton of fish right here. Yeah, I see them. Little baby ones. They're gonna come to you once you get in there. Right, I'm excited. They usually super curious, and as soon as I breathe out, they they don't like they my don't bubbles too that. much. Like, oh, you're not yeah, exactly. Like, hold on now. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Merman Mike. I'm out here at Pine Mountain Lake. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Got my beautiful girlfriend Natasha. Hello. We have Allie. We have Barry. And we have the rest of the gang. But uh, we're actually out here today because unfortunately Ali lost her engagement ring while she was out here celebrating with her bachelorette party. I'm going to let her tell you kind of how she lost it and whatnot. But if you've never been to my channel before, what I love to do is I go down to the local lakes and rivers, sometimes not so local, and I try to search for anybody's lost valuables to return and also clean up all the trash while I'm down there. I thoroughly believe you can't just get the treasures, you have to go for the trash too. But I'm going to go over to Ali and she's going to tell you basically how she lost the ring. Okay, so I I came up to the lake with a bunch of my girlfriends after my wedding and bachelorette parties were canceled due to COVID and we finally thought it's a little safer to hang out so we came up to the lake house, I jumped in the water and I thought it would be fun to throw a bunch of muck at all of my <laughs> bridesmaids oh. and in the middle of throwing muck I realized I didn't have my $5,000 diamond on anymore oh. so the bachelorette party once again <laughs> turned bad. <laughs> and then how did you find me? Uh, okay, so after failing to hire a metal detecting man, I started Googling, I've lost my engagement ring, what now? And Northern California metal detectors, and Merman Mike popped up and he seemed like the right guy for the job. Oh, that's too cool. And uh, unfortunately, we've heard the story before. A lot of the times, people don't realize your fingers shrink a little bit once you get into cold water. So it's just enough to make those rings be able to come off super easily, especially if you get a little geyser of water that goes in between your finger and the ring. They shoot right on off, so be very, very careful with those. But we're really hopeful. It looks like she has a really good little bear area. They already kind of got rid of the vegetation down there. So I'm going to search around. I've got my beautiful new metal detector. I call it my space gun. Hopefully we can go down there and find it super fast. I do have two tanks of air just in case it isn't super fast. I'm going to try to stay off the bottom of the lake as well because as soon as I touch the bottom of the lake, it's going to get extremely hard to see. So I'm trying to keep as much visibility for as long as possible. Anywho, if you guys have been liking these videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It really helps me get out here, make more videos, and hopefully return that many more valuables back to their owners. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's go see if we can find a ring. Like this? Oh my god, Woo! You are my best friend! Uh, two, two seconds! That was literally two seconds! That was awesome! It was right there, almost like at the bottom of the steps. Thank you so much! Not a, I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, wait, can it be that easy? So uh, easy. There you go. Thank you so you are much! So my welcome. precious! I'm not shine that in your liar your eyes. <laughs> My oh precious. my god. Yeah, my husband called me Smeagol when I got home because Hi. I had no ring and no voice. People don't realize how much something like that oh means. Oh my god, thank like, you. Look at it. Oh, that's awesome. Woohoo! Yay! Ended up yes. doing, <laughs> got two returns today. Shut that was up. a minute. That was a minute. A minute. A minute. Record. And we were saying yesterday, like, watch, he's just gonna go down there and it's just gonna be like that. It really was. <laughs> the, uh, oh my god. Gonna freak. I'm glad the it was so one close. One minute. <laughs> One you minute, one minute, yeah. I'm glad it was oh so close God, to the ladder because so I was able to kind of latch my feet onto the ladder Dude. so I didn't stir up anything. Look at this picture of him just holding it. Pretty much. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. <laughs> 
Thank you Yay. so much. Hold on, I see something else. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a pretty good day. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, just got done with our dive and it was absolutely incredible. Probably, no, not probably, definitely the fastest return I've ever done. Check it out. Woo! Oh, that is so cool. Still loose. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like. Don't get excited. <laughs> but uh, yeah, check it out. We got to use the new metal detector finally. I'm just so excited with the amount of returns we've been able to do. Plus, while we were getting ready to go search for this ring, we actually got a phone call and it ends up that uh, my brother knows the person that lost the keys that I found the other day. So we'll be able to return those as well. And I'm always stoked when I get to return valuables back to their owner. But uh, how do you feel now that you have your ring? Happy and that I'm not getting divorced. <laughs> Merman Mike saves a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I had so much fun today. If you guys had a good time, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Really helps me get out here, make more videos, and return that many more valuables back to their owners. But from everybody over here. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Thanks, Merman Mike. <laughs> Woo! Till next time, everyone. Take care. All right, everybody. So here's the keys that we found for Toby. And this is actually him right here. And we have his wife, Jill. And I'm super excited because I've never been able to return a pair of keys before. And I actually got a phone call from my brother when I was out trying to return somebody's wedding ring. I lost them about, uh, I'd say six weeks ago, a month ago. Oh my God, that's awesome. That is insane. Yeah, I was. Uh, that was the video where I actually found the drones that I ended up on the news for. Like right after I found those drones, I found a set of keys. I cannot believe it just <laughs> randomly happened. To, oh my God. Dude, you're the man! Dude, people are gonna think this is fake. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I never uh, Rainbow I Bridge in Sacramento. Yeah. I was like, you know, yeah. actually, I think I've seen those keys. Mikey pulled yeah. out a pair, and I've seen them in the treasure room on his table, on the you pool table. Room? Yeah, I've got a treasure room. <laughs> that is in. So this is why I have the treasure room. That way. <laughs> Somebody might He's be able to find their valuables. Yeah. Like, I'm missing something. Dude, that is awesome. If they still work again, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> my favorite dives are the ones where I can return valuables and like when I find keys I get kind of bummed because I can't really there's not like, who owns yeah these? like how do I return these that's insane yeah. yeah as soon as I get back I'll hit you up sounds good man appreciate it right. not a problem that's awesome All right. later All right. that's crazy that's insane Just random like makes me love it even more right like, this is why I do this kind of stuff because of those like Weird things like, hey, I lost this. There's no chance you found it, right? It's like, like well, oh. <laughs> let me I check the stock. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me go to the Let's inventory. See if I have that in stock. Treasure room. That is funny. Yeah. So how did that guy call you? He just died. My brother, uh, I have a treasure room in my house. And my brother was there the other day and he was looking at all the treasures and all that stuff. And I guess uh, my brother was telling my uh, uh, co worker of his about me and what I do and he was like dude I lost my set of keys in the river so that's awesome that he goes around returning them and my brother was like well what kind of keys were they and then he described the keys and he recognized them from my treasure room and he was like dude it's a slim chance but hold on let me call my brother I cannot believe that just happened wow. and check out the keys he has right here identical <laughs> they're like exactly the same hopefully he can be just put a battery in them and get them to work again because these are usually pretty expensive but there you go boss thank that's you so awesome much. i cannot I believe it. it the whole coincidence of yeah. just like that's part of the reason i love this is you never know what you're going to find down there who lost yeah them. Well, i had these on and i caught these and then i didn't even realize that i lost my keys until we got back to the truck no and i had these as a spare oh. in my backpack oh, and i had thank the God. window cracked wow so i got a hanger stuck it in there Open the truck up. Oh, because your backpack was in the, in the truck. Oh, that's so, awful. You're it's like, it's the keys good. are where I need to get keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, degrees. Oh, no. Do you mind if I get a picture with you guys? Sure. Awesome. Yeah.